Race equality, police brutality, and Black Lives Matter are some of the real world issues discussed in the novel turned cinematic masterpiece entitled The Hate You Give. Hello, my name is Ryan Downey, and today I'm going to give you an inside look into the enticing adventure of the Carter family and their horror story. In 2018, director George Tillman Jr. took the novel written by Angie Thomas to the silver screen, bringing her story to light. The story starts with student athlete Star Carter living her life in a not to quote Hannah Montana best of both worlds lifestyle. Star attends a private high-end school with both of her brothers that is an escape from her home life in an urban neighborhood in Garden Heights. The Carter family owns a grocery store and to them, family truly is everything. One night, Star is invited to a party by one of her home friends, Kenya, who antagonizes her until she goes to the party in a not so great area. After some time at the party, Gunshots are fired, and Star gets a ride home from her childhood friend, Khalil. When driving home, Khalil pulls the car over and is catching up with Star. After some talking, they actually kiss as Khalil had always had feelings for her. After the kiss, Khalil starts driving and they blow a stop sign. Before they know it, police sirens come on in the background and they get pulled over. The cop is very forceful and demanding with Khalil, as Khalil seems to be frustrated with the situation and is coming across as non-compliant to the cop. Khalil is asked to step out of the vehicle for no reason, and then the policeman walks back to his squad car. car. Just listen to him, Khalil. Okay. all right, chill. <laughs> After Khalil is asked to place his hands on top of the car, he reaches in to grab his hairbrush, and when pulling them back out, he is shot in the chest. Star is screaming and gets out of the car to check on her childhood friend, and it is obvious that Khalil is not going to make it. The policeman believed that Khalil was holding a firearm and was going to shoot at him. This is absolutely ridiculous, and it is just the beginning. Khalil's funeral is held, and the whole Garden Heights community is absolutely destroyed from its loss. In the coming days, more and more details would be revealed, including the fact that the officer who murdered Khalil will not be punished for what he had done, enraging the people of Garden Heights. This would lead to absolute anarchy when people filled the streets demanding that justice be served and the repercussions be placed upon the officer. As the movie goes on, Star becomes more and more open to being a part of her own community as they are mourning. Little do they know that little Carter girl was actually there when a sole member of their community was killed. The Hey You Give also touches upon gang violence and family issues, as Star's father Maverick was previously part of a gang, but had cleaned up his act once he had gotten married and had his children Star, Seven, and Sakai. King, who is the leader of the main gang in Garden Heights, has major issues with Maverick and even attempts to kill his children Star and Seven. King had previously stated that if Star had come out to be the one in the car with Khalil that night, then she would pay. King would then try to kill her by lighting Maverick's grocery store on fire with her and Seven in it. The Hate You Give is full of complete ups and downs and truly brings you along for an enticing emotional roller coaster where you find yourself on the edge of your seat. The film deals with very important real world issues and is a prime example as to why as a country, we need to be as united as one as possible. People are dying daily and it is certainly not too late to come together as one and stop spreading hate and spreading love. This is Ryan signing off.